Rainbow Blue Reading Group. Our novel is called Sea Turtles Ocean Nomads. Chapter 1 Vocabulary Reef. A reef is a chain of rocks or coral that can be found near the surface of the water. Coincidentally, when two things happen coincidentally, they happen by chance at the same time. However, they may be a connection. There may be a connection between the events. Extinct. When something is no longer active or existing, it is extinct. Strewn. Things that have been spread by scattering are strewn. Dwellers. People or things that live in a place are called dwellers. Thrive. To grow vigorously or strongly is to thrive. Submerged. To be underwater is to be submerged. Countless. When things are too numerous to count, they are countless. Perils. Perils are dangers being faced. Entangled. When something is entangled, it is twisted or caught in something else. Please choose two of the vocabulary words from Chapter 1 and complete the own your word. You write the word in the word box. You write the definition of the word. You use the word in a sentence. You put the part of speech of the word, whether it's a verb, a noun, adjective, and so on. If you can, find a synonym for the word, which is a word that means the same. If you can, find an antonym of the word, which is a word that means the opposite, and draw a picture to remind you of that word. You can do that in your writing journal or on just a plain lined piece of paper. Sea turtles, ocean nomads. As I read, I want you to keep these questions in mind because I would like you to answer them on either a lined piece of paper or in your writing journal. Make sure you answer with complete sentences and also try to restate the question if at all possible. Number one, how did the details of the dive help you to understand what the divers were experiencing. Number two, the text on page seven talks about creatures of the coral reef. What details helped you to visualize a coral reef? What details had the biggest impact on your visualization? Number three, how does the information in the side column on page nine help you to empathize with the sea turtles? Empathize means Understand how they're feeling or feel bad for them. What details stick in your mind the most? Here we go. Chapter 1. Sea Turtle Island. Barely rising above the horizon, a tropical island sits alone in a turquoise sea. It is Sipidan Island, a tiny speck in the western Pacific Ocean, a hundred miles off the coast of Borneo. This remote outpost is the destination of divers Jeff Rotman and Marcello Bertinetti. And, not coincidentally, two endangered species of sea turtles. The men came here just to meet these sea turtles. Sipidan Island was formed from a coral reef that grew around the slopes of an extinct underwater volcano. Limestone caves riddle the coral reef, creating long, dark passages. These caves were the location that Jeff and Marcello had chosen for their first dive. To reach the entrance, they swam a short way down a steep coral wall that plunged 6,000 feet to the ocean floor. Brightly colored sea fans and sponges hugged the vertical slope. A parrotfish munching on coral ignored them as they drifted past. The divers found the entrance to the coral cave 30 feet below the surface. The two men squeezed into the narrow crevice just as a school of silvery barracuda flashed by. Islanders had warned the divers that they easily could become lost in the maze of tunnels of underwater caves. Mm -hmm. As the tight passageway opened into a huge chamber, Jeff's dive light revealed that earlier visitors to this cave had met just such a fate. Mm -hmm. More than a dozen sea turtle skeletons were strewn across the cavern floor. A turtle that had recently died floated against the ceiling. No wonder the local calls locals call this place the turtle tomb. Above, 
A green sea turtle swims toward shore where she will lay her eggs. Opposite. Zipitan Island is an outpost for sea turtles and divers in the tropical Pacific Ocean. Creatures of the Coral Reef The coral reef has been compared to an underwater city with many different animals crowded into crevices like high-rise apartment dwellers. The coral reef provides food, protection, and mates for its many residents and visitors. Coral reefs are home to a quarter of all the ocean species, including about 3,500 species of fish and 600 species of reef-building corals. Reef-building corals thrive on the eastern shores of large land masses like Australia and Indonesia, around small islands like these, like those in the Caribbean Sea and in tropical waters like the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. No place else on earth except possibly the rainforest can match a coral reef for its variety of creatures. Reef building corals, hard corals, and sea fans, soft corals, come in many vibrant colors, as do the reef fishes themselves. Schools of barracuda patrol the reef in search of colorful residents like parrotfish, butterflyfish, and angelfish. Parrotfish with teeth that have fused together to make a strong beak-like scraper, grind up chunks of coral to feed on the tiny plants living within. Below, Coral Reef with Sergeant Major and Scissor Tail Sergeant. Red Sea, Egypt. Opposite. Skelfin and Thias schooling on Coral Reef in the Red Sea. The bones of green sea turtles and hawksbill turtles littered the cave. The scene made the divers think of the legendary elephant graveyards of Africa, where elephants go to die. But these turtles had not come here intending to die. They had almost certainly wandered into the caves in search of food <clears throat> or a quiet spot to take a nap. Then they had become confused by the worn of tunnels and couldn't find their way out again. Like humans, sea turtles breathe air. They usually stay submerged for four or five minutes at a time and can hold their breath for several hours when they are sleeping. But they use up oxygen quickly if they panic, as they might if they were caught in a fisherman's net or lost in a labyrinth of caves. How long they survived in Turtle Tomb is anyone's guess. Once they died, their bodies were attacked by shrimp, crabs, and worms. Only their skeletons, of which their shell is part, were left behind. As the divers gazed at the remains of the stranded sea turtles before them, they felt a sudden surge to check their air supply. Jeff and Marcello had come to Sipidan Island to photograph the sea turtles without ancestors, sea turtles whose ancestors had nested here undisturbed for countless generations. The men were concerned that the remote island was fast becoming a popular attraction for divers who came in ever-increasing numbers to watch the sea turtles mate and lay their eggs. Would the resorts, dive shops, and marinas that were being built for the tourists drive away the very thing they were all coming to see? Fortunately, Jeff and Marcello also found island game wardens working to make sure Sipidan Island would continue to welcome both human and turtle visitors. The changes happening on this tiny island made underwater photographer Jeff Rotman want to learn how sea turtles were being threatened and protected around the world. A diver examines the remains of a sea turtle lost in a maze of underwater caves. Sea turtles face a sea of dangers. Sea turtles face many more dangers than becoming lost in a sub submarine cave. Almost all these perils can be traced back to humans. Sea turtles have been killed for their meat and shells, drowned in fishing nets, run over by ships, or suffocated after mistakenly eating plastic bags balloons, styrofoam, and other plastic garbage. Thousands of turtles are drowned each year after being accidentally caught in shrimp fishing nets. Others become entangled in plastic nets. Lines and buoys either lost by fishermen or set out for other prey, such as sharks or swordfish. 
Oil spills can pollute the breeding or feeding grounds of the sea turtles. Tar balls can carry oil spill damage far across the ocean. Tar can coat the eyes, nostrils, and mouths of the unfortunate sea turtles that encounter it. A diver tries to photograph a shy green sea turtle. Once again, please answer these three questions completely, restating the question if possible. Number one, how did the details of the dive help you to understand what the divers were experiencing? Number two, the text on page seven talks about creatures of the coral reef. What details helped you to visualize a coral reef? What details had the biggest impact on your visualization? Number three, how does the information in the side column on page nine help you to empathize with the sea turtles? What details stick in your mind the most? Thank you.